Oh man, are you hungry? Yeah. Are you? Yeah. What do you want to do for dinner? We're gonna get grill out. We're gonna grill out? Yeah. All oh, right, that's crazy. So you're cooking, right? <laughs> yeah. You're gonna cook this? All right, so I guess this is going to be cooking Go find day. my truck, too. <laughs> Go find your truck while we cook? Uh, I don't know. How about we just, uh, we, you just want to take a couple shots of some Jack Daniels or you want to drink a couple beers? We call it a night? Huh? <laughs> All right. Well, let's see what we can do. going on YouTube sniping for Dom fans and all you big big sexy supporters out there my name is Derek or my gamer tag alias is for Dom for all of you that may not know who I am welcome back to another cooking vlog these things are popular for some reason this is my third one and I hope you guys enjoy this one um, so far I've done tacos and then the other time I think it was a buffalo macaroni and cheese so if you haven't checked the other ones out you know say hi so if you haven't checked the other ones out, you need to go and check them out for sure. Um, today is going to be like kind of a mix. I'm going to be doing a grilling session. Uh, we're going to be doing chicken, potatoes, pork, basically bone-in pork chops, grilled shrimp, and some, some carrots, my style. So... Um, here's everything that you're going to need to have. Don't mind my house. It's a little a little messy But all right, so I already got the potatoes cut up Okay, you're gonna need some lemon some lime Worcestershire Parmesan cheese soy sauce olive oil Light if or extra virgin doesn't matter garlic powder adobo with saison and liver powder for the seasonings some carrots shrimp the pork chops are back there and then the chicken breast so uh, we're gonna go step by step on what we're doing this will be an inside effort as well as a grilling effort and hopefully you guys try this out sometime and realize how fucking phenomenal it actually is most of the meals that I make are trying to get by as cheap as possible and yet still having you know great flavors and something that can fall back for the next day to eat on that still will taste good so don't forget to go ahead and smack that like button telling us what you think down in the comments is what I always love reading so tell me some of your recipes or what you would like to see me cook next and then I'll throw my own twist on it and then we'll go from there all right all right so let's go ahead and get into this we're gonna go ahead and get the chicken dish started and you want to give this about maybe about 35 to 40 minutes uh, to cook. So we're gonna go ahead and get the chicken breast up in here. So you wanna go ahead and get some olive oil, you know, inside of your pan for your chicken down at the bottom. And you're gonna go ahead and get the chicken breast in there. And you can, you can wave that around, you know, at the bottom of that, put those in the middle. Um, what we're making is probably going to, don't forget to wash your hands by the way, I get crap for this all the time. Okay, so you can either marinate this, but you want to get, make sure you shake that up pretty well. You're going to want to get your Italian dressing in here, and you can put it at some of the bottom of the pan as well. And don't forget, you can flip that around in that to get both sides, you know, get both sides with that, that seasoning on there. And then you're going to go ahead and get into your adobo with saison. I got another bottle up there. I need to finish that one, this one. You're going to pour this on the top just enough to lightly cover it because this, this can be an overpowering season um, depending on what you're working with. You want to go ahead and get you some of your soy sauce. Put a little bit of that on top, just enough to cover it. And then you're gonna break in to your garlic powder to hold that soy sauce into place on top. Don't be afraid putting enough garlic on. Garlic's good for you. And then we're gonna put some pepper on top of that. 
I usually have crushed pepper, but this is going to have to do. Now, since this is going to go in the oven, we're going to go ahead and throw the potatoes. You can just mix these potatoes around the edges as so. is I'm going to go ahead and put some onion on top of these chicken breasts. I'm a huge onion fan. You may not be, but I am, and I cook with onion a lot. Great seasoning. I even love eating just onion in general. And then you can throw those around some of these. You can chop these up if you want, or just throw the rings on some of the potatoes here. And that'll bring out some good flavor for you, okay? So what you want to do is go ahead and get you some more of your olive oil. You're going to lightly go around these potatoes with this olive oil, just like this. You can even put a tiny bit more on that chicken if you would like. And then we're going to pour some Italian seasoning. Doesn't have to be expensive Italian seasoning. We're going to put some Italian seasoning on these. And just a tiny bit of this on top of the chicken okay so that's ready to be put in the oven we're going to turn this oven on probably about 380 i'd say 380 385 and you're going to leave that on probably for about 35 minutes 35 to 40 minutes depending on you know what heat you want to cook it at we're going to go ahead and get the shrimp ready You're gonna need a measuring cup. We're gonna melt some butter down. That's an outstanding amount. Get you about a half a cup of butter. So you can just put you a half a cup and a measuring cup of, of some butter, throw it up in the microwave and turn it on for about 20, 20 some seconds, maybe 30 some seconds. Get that stuff melted. You're gonna get yourself some tin foil. that out right there. Let me get this out of the way here. This might make things a little bit easier. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this tin foil down right here, okay? And we're going to go ahead and move the shrimp over here. It can be bag shrimp, it could be fresh shrimp, jumbo shrimp, whatever you want to do. Um, I usually just buy a big old bag of shrimp because I make a couple different, I like shrimp, and I make a couple different dishes out of it. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and get into the lemon pepper seasoning. And if you don't know what that is, you should get some in your life, especially if you're a fish eater or anything like that. Like I said, your seasonings don't have to be expensive. So go ahead, put that in there. Some pepper. Okay, and then you're going to take this butter that's melted and you're going to pour this over the shrimp just like so. Alright, and then you're going to grab your garlic powder just to hold in some flavor. I like how this usually attaches to anything that's wet and uh, get you some garlic powder up in there. So what you're going to do is, you're going to go ahead and you're going to fold this up, okay? You're going to fold this up because this is going to get thrown on the grill. So fold that up and the shrimp, you can shake that around that butter that's in there and stuff like that to get both sides. Shake that around and the next thing that we're going to do is go ahead and do the pork chops here. These are just, they're almost going to be about the same as the chicken, a little bit different. We're going to add in some soy sauce. Go ahead and season it with the soy sauce. And that'll run off a little bit so you can turn them over. You're going to get some Worcestershire sauce up in here. Just like this. And then you can let that come off a little bit and then pick them up and then put the back side into the seasoning itself just like that dry my hands here 
And the next thing that we're going to do, definitely garlic powder. Let that sit on there, just like that. And I know it's going to sound probably a little weird, but put you some Parmesan on top of these. Just like so. If you're younger and you're watching this video, I always suggest safety precautions at all times. My grill, I don't ever let Dom stand around it when I light it. Um, I know how it works. And my igniter button, like a lot of grills, the igniter buttons go bad on them. So I'll show you guys how. Uh, I like my grill and it's pretty funny because it always sounds like it's about to blow up. But always be careful. And there we go. It's lit. AF. Just like so. like that you want to move it around the grate a little bit so it doesn't stick too much and then go ahead and put the shrimp on right there and you're gonna let since these aren't too thick uh, you're gonna let these probably cook maybe maybe about four to six minutes on each side if that depending on how you like your pork you usually want to thoroughly cook your pork though I just want to see what Dom's doing Dom is in his truck right now Good. Oh my god, it's looking pretty good. Let's pull it out. Let's see what she's looking like. See how those potatoes are doing. I'd probably say about a good 40, good 40 to 45 minutes on a 375 to 380 range. So that's what it's looking like right now, and it smells delicious. It's so good. Is it good? Yeah. All right. So here's the finalized product. As you guys can see, there's the shrimp right there. Is it delicious? Yeah? How good? Uh, two months. Two months good? Mm -hmm. It'd be good for two months, so I'm just going to put some lime oh. and squeeze some lime. And you can recycle. I only drink water, so and you can see I'm on a protein diet. Some lime and lemon over these. Shrimp, and then you're good to go. All right? This is it the end of the vlog hope you guys had a great time watching this hopefully you try this out it's i haven't tasted it yet but it looks pretty tasty and i'm um, sorry about the hair see you on the next video guys thank you so much for stopping by and taking time out of your day to show some love on my video don't forget to leave a like comment i always reply back to every comment and also subscribe if you haven't don't forget to check out a few of my sponsors g fuel Use code DOM10 to get 10% off. Control Freaks, DOM10 to get 10% off. Trigger Devils, DOM10 to get 10% off. And my chair sponsor is GT Omega Racing. That is code DOM to get 5% off. I love you guys. Don't forget to check out my daily streams as well as my other videos I upload through the week. I love you all. Mwah.